Hey everybody, today I want to introduce you to the largest loggerhead sea turtle I have ever seen come through this facility. This massive turtle is now swimming in a brand new tank at the New England Aquarium Sea Turtle Rehab Facility, and she weighs a whopping 320 pounds. That's the largest uh, loggerhead I've ever seen. Head is like this big. She's very big. Very big, yeah. She's the largest loggerhead we've ever worked with as a cold stun. She's the only adult female that we've ever worked with. And when she came in, the team gave her the somewhat ironic name, Munchkin. And Munchkin is the size of a breeding adult which is really important to turtle populations. Loggerheads, like all sea turtles, are threatened with extinction. And given that scientists estimate that only one in a thousand babies mature into breeding adults, the aquarium staff is putting a ton of energy into getting her back to the ocean. Now her particular rehab journey here started last November when she washed up on the shores of Cape Cod. So Munchkin, I came in the day before Thanksgiving. And she was minimally responsive. She was covered in thick algae and enormous uh, barnacles, but she was dull, very dull. When we did her physical exam, we also found that she was underweight. Some of her flippers were missing parts of the, the flipper. She's missing essentially all of her fingers down here, which forms the majority of the length of her flipper. We're not sure why she stranded or how she lost part of her flipper, but over the course of the next eight months, she has made a remarkable recovery. And now the rehab team wants to run a final physical exam to determine if she's actually ready for release. The process of removing her from the tank for a physical exam is pretty labor intensive. Um, first, it's a deep pool, so we have to make sure we have enough people who are tall enough to actually reach over and lift her out of the pool and then set her down gently. 12 to 15 people. So you can definitely sense that something is about to happen here now. All of the crew that works in here are kind of on their toes getting ready because uh, Munchkin is gonna get one of her final examinations before she's ready to go back out into the ocean again. Um, don't wait, don't hesitate. Once we start moving that turtle up and out, you need to fill in quickly. So well, we don't want anyone to get hurt pulling her out. Questions? Now to get Munchkin out. This clearly is a serious undertaking. I can see it on everyone's face. The water team first hops in the tank with large plastic riot police style blockers so they can safely keep the turtle moving towards the lifters. Once she's moved across the tank, the team ever so gently gets a stretcher under her and the lifters start their job to get her out. Once she's out of the water, they need to move quickly because a 300 plus pound sea turtle is very strong. That's why she's lowered into this big tub. It's for her own safety, as well as the turtle team who's trying to check her health. Besides the standard health measurements, such as heart rate, eye health, and blood samples, Connie is prepping Munchkin to get a satellite tracking tag. And for me, this tag is one of the most exciting bits. We'll be able to see exactly where she goes. We've never tagged an adult loggerhead turtle in this area, so there's no data. We don't know where she's gonna go. Turns out Munchkin is in great health and is cleared for release in a few short weeks. I'm very excited. Getting through every obstacle with a turtle like this is extremely rewarding. And it'll be really exciting to see her crawl down the beach and go back into her own environment where she doesn't have to deal with us anymore. So that's just a short intro to Munchkin. We have five weeks where we're gonna be following her from here in this facility out to where she's gonna be released in the Atlantic Ocean. I encourage you to follow along with the New England Aquarium. Go check it out, we have a ton of videos. Stay tuned, myself and Jonas, we're releasing updates on our social profiles right here. And so is the New England Aquarium, so follow everybody and we will see you in the next video.